Hi. I know this looks weird. Don't, 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 it doesn't matter. Now, why are we here? Why are we making this video? Well, this video is very important. Also, there might be some noise thing. I'll figure it out later. I don't know what the, whatever. So I just wanted to make this video very quickly. I'm very tired. I've slept only three hours, and I've been up for like 20 somewhat hours. So the thing is, what I wanted to do is with this video was I wanted to talk about, crit, you know, people who critique critique uh, things that come out DC related mainly, because everybody sucking Marvel's dick. Now I'm fine with Marvel. I watch their movies. I enjoy their movies. It's just, I feel like DC is getting a lot more hate than Marvel is. And I'm, you know, people's opinions and all that, that's fine. You know, you're not forced to accept their opinions. But it gets to the point where actual people who are supposed to support and review the DC products and news and everything that's coming out give it so much flack that everybody starts thinking that DC fans hate the DC stuff. Which is absolutely not true. It just happens that the media, media, you know, people who talk about it, are those people, the people who dislike it. Now, what do we see here? We actually see a picture, something that came out a few, uh, a bunch of hours ago. You know, it was like probably like eight hours ago. Now, you, know, you can notice, if you've seen this picture before, you notice that that shot doesn't look like that. That's because I did that, and I prefer it this way. Well, it doesn't matter. Usually it's just uh, Will Smith's face. Now, what I like about this picture is everything. What people don't like about this picture is probably 80% of it. Now, I wanted to talk about this myself, and then I'm going to tell you what I've seen from other people. Now, myself. Let's just see how much I know of DC. First off, let's start from uh, from the left. That is Slipknot. Now Slipknot, you can just simply Google the name and you can see that the guy uses ropes. Uh, there's really nothing else to it. That's it. The guy is a military guy who uses ropes. Well, it wasn't a military guy in the comics, but he didn't really have that many appearances. So I guess that's why they're kind of changing it a little bit. And I'm fine with that. You know, a character who really hasn't had much of an exposure in the media is getting some here. Now, he could get killed off right away. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean that he will, but he could. And, you know, to some degree that's fine because it still gives him recognition in the movies. For example, during uh, Attack on Arkham, I didn't, well, I knew about KG Beast, but I didn't know really how he was other than what I saw on Arrow. Now, that, those are completely different characters one another, and when they killed him off, spoilers I guess, when they killed him off, it was weird, because I actually wanted to see more of him. So after the movie ended, I actually went and googled him, and I read up on his story or something, and he's actually an interesting character. Same, same thing here, people can see him, and even if they kill him off, they can still, you know, say, oh, you know, he seemed like an interesting character, I'm gonna go Google him, and they seen him, find him, and, you know, that's how he gets recognition. Now, that's something that people don't get. They seem to think that, oh, it's a nobody character, so nobody's gonna watch the movie. That is not true. That is what excites people, is the unknown. That is what's really interesting about this movie is because n most of these characters are not really developed on any screen the small screen or big screen the, the only people we've had on the small screen here you know talking TV wise not animated is Boomerang Deadshot and Katana next week when I'm making this video and that's it those, those are the only people who've made TV. The other people haven't even really been on uh, movies. What are we even talking about here? Animated movies, sure, we've had Boomerang. Uh, I don't, have we had Rick Flag? I think we've had Rick Flag at one point. Or was it uh, Sir? I don't know, whatever. That one we had Croc, we had Deadshot, you know, all those. I'm not sure about El Diablo, but we'll get to that. Now, the second picture we got is uh, uh, Captain Boomerang. 
boomerang, I guess what they call them now. Boomerang is actually very well done in this incarnation. The coat, everybody's like, ah, oh, they, you know, Warner Bros. wanted to hire him for, uh, want to hire Tom Hardy for Boomerang, so they gave Bane's coat to him. Her, her, her. Fuck you. That's not true. They want to hire him for Rick Flag. But even that didn't work out. It doesn't matter because Tom Hardy really wasn't what the movie was about. It was about the characters themselves. Everybody thought because they hired Margot, Margot Robbie and freaking Will Smith that the whole movie is going to be, oh, you know, great. No, it's not it. Who knows? Maybe they'll be the worst part of the movie and somebody else will shine. That's how the movie works. Or just any movie, not this movie, any movie. Now, let's talk about Jack Courtney. Jack Courtney, people don't like him. I actually didn't mind him in Live or Die Hard, you know, whatever the freaking title was of that movie. I didn't mind him at all. He was actually fine. I, hell, I didn't even know it was Jack Courtney. I, then I realized it was. I actually liked the guy. He's going to be in the new uh, Genesis movie. Transform uh, Transformers? No. Terminator Genesis. <laughs> I'm so tired. Uh, Terminator Genesis. And I'm actually excited to see him as Kyle Reese. Now, I don't really know you know many of his other movies but I know that he has the accent that Boomerang has so it will come to him naturally he does appear to be a more scumbagish guy how just the same way that Boomerang is and that is exactly how it needs to be the whole attire that he has people say oh it seems like they cut the budget so they give him whatever they had it, okay well, does every movie have to have expensive wardrobe? And even so, who knows how much that costs? Even if it didn't cost that much, it still looks awesome because that's not what it's supposed to be. There aren't supposed to be hero heroes, right, in this case, that, that, that have a lot of money to have th that type of money to spend on their attires. These are criminals who have sentences, you know, to be... the. Uh, to have their sentences reduced by this so they don't really have much on them anyways right this is probably the clothes that they had before they went to jail so excuse them for not having enough time to make their own costumes think about it logically this movie isn't supposed to be a top gear superhero movie it's supposed to be a suicide squad down to earth realistic that's why they hired David Ayer David Ayer is known for making greedy realistic movies freaking fury man it's not freaking flashy all of his other movies are military based military isn't flashy at all this what you look at when you look at this you see military that's what it is anyways boomerang is awesome I, I dig the blue like it looks classic boomerang the had it everything the mutton chops you can kind of see there it's awesome i really dig that i really appreciate what air did there i also noticed i'm not sure like he has something taped to his leg that could be a knife or it could be a boomerang doesn't matter really but i feel like it's the same coat that they kind of had in arrow where underneath his coat there's actually the boomerangs and everything so even if you have it like that that'll be awesome hopefully they capture the humor of captain boomerang and that's really what i'm most excited about about that one now Enchantress now I'm gonna be absolutely honest I know nothing of Enchantress like I, I know her name but that's about it I know what she does what you know what her powers are but I don't know really her lore and I'm not one of those that don't know any of these characters I know most of these characters just not her and El Diablo everybody else I kind of know about them so, uh, yeah, Enchantress, I don't know anything about her, but I've seen pictures of her, and I can tell you that doesn't look like Enchantress, but it's known that she has more than one forms, so what if this is one of her forms, and then when maybe her other form is more flashy and classic, so say this is her darker form, and then they can switch it up later. Same way, there were some rumors that Harley Quinn was going to have different outfits so that's fine as well so yeah I actually I'm surprised they hired a model with barely any acting experience to none actually to play a character that's all under that 
you know, there's, there must be something about her that they like to put her there. You know, it's, that's that's what really grabs me into that character. It's like, why would you have a, a model, a, a young model, put behind all that? Again, and she also is wearing the least of all of them, even Harley. She's barely any, wearing anything, if you notice. But yeah, I really like that. It's, it, it intrigues me. It intrigues me because it, of how different it is from the original concept. Now, it's not a bad thing because it's not like Entran Enchantress has already been established in a media. She, it hasn't. She, she hasn't had any appearances except for maybe animated series, but that's about it. I don't even remember if she was in any movies, animated movies. That's it. Katana. Now, what the first thing I noticed about Katana was a big boobs because I have seen her in the comics. I don't remember her having big boobs, and that is fine. You know, it's I don't I don't I usually don't care about breast size or anything, but what really was interesting is how well they got the mask. The mask was, mm, the mask is just spot on. People are complaining now. I'm when I say people, I mean critics who are supposed to be you know have valid opinions about certain things you know they have their opinions are valued by a lot of people they're being viewed by a lot of people and they're supposed to say uh, they're supposed to set a medium about these characters as an opinion you know public opinion and they say oh she looks like a cosplay uh, oh, why does she has to have the Japanese thing on it? Did, can't you tell that she ha she's Japanese? You know, Japanese here, Japanese there. Yeah. Well, that's how she's in the comic. Okay, she doesn't have the little armband thing in the comic, sure. But it doesn't matter. Who cares? Everything else is spot on, pretty much. You know, spot on, spot on. Uh, but yeah, everything else. She looks like she's cosplayed. <laughs> what? What? Are you, are you kidding me? Okay, by that logic, Captain America looks like crap because his freaking costume looks one of, like one of the worst cosplays ever. Like I've seen twice as better cosplayers have better costumes than it, probably cheaper. But anyways, about that, yeah, Katana just spot on. I really dig the swords. Uh, I was shocked when she was in the picture. I literally didn't expect Katana like. I expect everybody else, but not Katana. Like we had, we had nothing about her. Nobody was talking about her, and everybody was putting rumors about pl Plastique. I didn't care because I saw her on Flash. Was it? Well, really didn't grab me that much. I read up on her comments, uh, comics a little bit, and it seemed pretty meh character. You know, explosions and whatever. It's not my thing. I'm more into deep story. But yeah, Katana really surprised me like what is she doing there she I, if I, okay I'm not saying guaranteed but what I remember from the Suicide Squad not just current but past as well she was never part of the Suicide Squad so what is she doing there why did she get recruited what did she do intrigue you know interesting stuff not people complaining about what everything else like oh, what does she look like don't think about just what she looks like think about everything else now Joe Kinnaman Right, I have to remember his name because god damn I keep fucking it up. This guy, Rick Flag, Jr. I'm guessing. Very interesting. Uh, not only yeah, apparently he's type the type of playboy in the group that Will Smith's character was supposed to be, I'm guessing, because in for movies like Attack, uh, Attack on Arkham, uh, Deadshot used to, you know, do the thing with Harley, so I thought that was gonna happen, not this way, but I kind of like it this way, because he, he's a fucking charming guy, he's a handsome guy, I mean, I'm not gonna fucking lie about that, and he looks awesome, he, he looks like a freaking soldier, and David Ayer, again, David Ayer, that's his specialty into making actors look like actual soldiers and put them through the same training as actual soldiers, because he himself served in the military, for people who don't do their freaking homework, that and Rick Flag, he's a pretty unexplored character. And this this right here, because because he's a military type of character, and David Ayer is specializing in that. This could really, this could work very well for David Ayer and him developing this character, because this character is pretty much his. He it could be his baby, and he could actually live this character up 
to the standards of Captain America or to the you know exposure of Captain America and I know it's kind of weird because he's not supposed to be a you know protagonist he's more of a anti-hero but even so like we don't know anything about him even if he even if he could be maybe in the wrong place and that's why he got hired and then maybe he just splits apart so who knows about that one oh that was really exciting as well now we're halfway through and in the middle is the one thing that really shined when I looked at the picture was Harley Quinn like when I when you look at the picture you can see like this and in the middle you actually see her just like all white it's really awesome like she, she new 52 bro new 52 like yeah it's I don't know what to tell you people complain why does she not have her animated suit her 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 or why does she have the blue hair not the black hair uh, what else was it she doesn't wear anything she needs more clothes why is she wearing pants why does she have tattoos uh, what else was it she doesn't have big enough boobs uh, I don't know there's some other complaints like that uh, oh yeah why is she wearing adidas fucking shoes adidas I don't know how the fuck you pronounce it yeah it's probably that but yeah that uh, what did they do to her leggings were her man shut the fuck up like when you look at that you, when you okay usually when you look at Harley Quinn what do you see an attractive young female who's crazy about her lover who's crazier than her now when you look at that what do you see I don't know it seems stupid okay what people tell me is they want to see an insane cheerleader type of girl you're telling me you look at that and you're telling me you're not seeing an insane cheerleader what that is exactly what it is this is a person who's say dropped out of school went on to do drugs found this insane fucking person started doing more insane shit probably robbed a few places this is that person when you look at that this is that person there's a little things that I noticed her gun if you in inside of her jacket thing that is actually that that has a little joker thing on it like like a face also her jacket zipper uh, thing that's a J there's a J on it uh, her tattoo on her leg says Putin and there's a little heart thing which I can speculate that maybe there's a H and a J in there plus you know H plus J type of thing they nail her fucking face then they her fucking body like she's pale and that's how Harley needs to be in a way because she needs to have the thing they better do that instead of a lot of makeup to explain you know like the ledger thing like oh it's a lot of makeup because what just do that fuck it who cares who cares it's gonna be good if it's gonna be good it's gonna be good do it just do it the right way don't try to explain you know some things yeah explain with more realistic way like for example boomerang but Harley Quinn you can't really do that except for making it stupid which we don't want now this way it's a lot better so yeah she looks great she seemed to have like uh, I've seen another picture she seems to have on her other side tattoos on her face like Joker had the J she seems to have like an H or something I don't remember what I saw and she has like a tattoo over here so I don't know about that one but I don't care like as long as it works as long as the actor can act it that's what I care about like it can look like absolute trash we're gonna get to it next one is Deadshot now again on the picture I've actually switched it up a bit I've made it look like it's actual Deadshot like I used the other picture's head and put it on Will Smith here because I don't like to look at Will Smith's face when I'm supposed to be looking at the cast with the characters like freaking Croc is there and he doesn't seem to be looking normal so I put that it looks like that plus this is like combining both pictures of his face and uh, attire so let's talk about that one when they cast Will Smith as Deadshot I was a bit disappointed because I'm not gonna lie I wanted my Deadshot white now that sounds a bit racist but that wasn't the point because when I watched Deadshot in the animated shows and everything uh, you know at movies as well and even on Arrow he was white again some might may debate that he was black and some of them 
but I just thought that was the animation style. In Attack on Arkham, they call him like as if he's black or his panic. I'm like, maybe he's just darker skin because Boomerang kind of had the same skin. But, you know, it didn't matter. Even if he was black, it didn't matter. Why I didn't like Will Smith for this role was what everybody was talking about. It's like, oh, they want a big name for the movie. Oh, they want so they can get recognition and everything. And the dumbest thing that they said was, they're not gonna put a mask on him. Like, they need his face on there so when uh, when people go and see the movie, they recognize a face or on a poster and they recognize... No. See, that's what, that's what I, I didn't agree when it happened. And that's what I said. Because if they did that, that movie would have sucked ass because it was pretty much just, let's concentrate on the power, you know, the star power of the character, of the people who are playing the characters, rather than the characters themselves, which I really freaking hate it, and that's why he didn't like Will Smith as a choice, I wanted somebody who's lesser known, I wanted somebody who can actually be the role, rather than actually be Will Smith playing the role, but now that we've seen that they actually are going to put a mask on him, that is, that that's calming to me, I don't, I don't mind that it's Will Smith anymore. I don't care. And probably people are very upset. It's like, oh, but they're putting a mask on him. So they're screwed. I, fuck you. Fuck you. That's what it is. The movie is made by a director who last year had a great freaking movie. So if they think that he might do another great movie, they're going to go check it out. If they don't want to check it out, they're not going to check it out. If you're a DC fan, you're going to check it out. If you don't want to check it out because it's David Ayer or, oh, they're hiding Will Smith's face, you're a dumbass. That's what you are, sir. You're a freaking dumbass. Seriously. That, that's a dumb reason to not want to see that movie. Not being excited about it because it doesn't show us... Oh my god. That's the... Seriously. In the past two hours that I've been, you know, here. I've seen people say, Oh, you know, we don't see much from this. Or I even, I swear to god, it's too dark. And I've seen pictures actually bright numbers like, Yeah, this is much better. It's not. This is not what's supposed to be. It is supposed to be about criminals. Oh, they look. Uh, they look like maniacs and insane people. Why would you want to go see that? Because that's what it's supposed to be. That's what the Suicide Squad is, and that's what pisses me off. People, instead of just freaking getting the name, put it in freaking Google, check it out, read a little bit, just this par paragraph in Wikipedia, just read that, and you'll understand the whole concept of freaking Suicide Squad. It's not that hard. And, anyways, Deadshot. People complain about the mask as well. Oh, actually, the bodysuit. Let's let's concentrate on those complaints. The bodysuit. Oh, it's too bright. Oh, he's wearing. Why is he wearing wearing so red? Again, these are for people who claim to be DC fans who know their shit. I'm so honored because. You can see in almost every single incarnation of Deadshot that he wears red. He wears red, and it pisses me out if people say that. Here's another complaint that they have. The mask. Oh, it looks to be eh, too white, too bright. Uh, it looks to be like a freaking soccer ball or whatever the fuck they call it. Same thing with the material on his body. Oh, it looks too light, it's not armor. The mask is supposed to look like that because there are other versions of him except for having, you know, a black mask, whatever it is, that has an attached eye to it. He has had a white mask before. That is something he has had. Sure, I do understand the complaint where it's like, oh, he's holding his gun with his right arm, so why is the scope on his left eye? It doesn't make any sense. That is true, it doesn't. Now, I don't understand why they did that, and why it's like that. Now, what I'm thinking is it could be just a mistake, which it would be really shitty if it was. But if it's not, there's probably a good reason why it's like that. So I'll just leave it at that, I'll just... He's, he, he's pretty good. He has his arm things, guns, whatever, that's good. That's really good detail on that one, I really liked it. He has a lot of clips on him. That's pretty much what Deadshot... I always thought Deadshot to be more of a ammo conserver rather than a sprayer. I don't know why he has so many clips on him.
but maybe this is a different type of Deadshot, and I'm totally fine with it, you know, as long as it's actually good, as long as Will Smith can sell me on the character, that's why I care, I care about being sold on the character, I don't care what he looks like, or how he, you know, what he, what he shoots with, I don't care, give a fuck if he fucking throws a banana, it's, it kind of can be interpreted as racist, but that's not what I meant, moving on, man, my humor is just out of this world, uh, yeah, next one is the one that really, really, really excites me. This is the most exciting one of them all for me. It's Killer Croc. Now, Killer Croc, you might say, who, what, who, who is that? It doesn't look like him because he's not a giant lizard man. No, he's not a giant lizard man. He's the incarnation that early days uh, Killer Croc had. The mutated human with a skin complexion that was nothing more than that. He was that what he was. He was just a man who turned into a lizard-like creature. Now, he didn't freaking grow a tail until later a bit. But other than that, he was just a skin complexion. He just had a skin complexion, and that was it. That's all he had. He His origin, well, you can just Google his origin, whatever. You can understand why he became that. But the thing was, people complained about, he's not seven eight feet tall you know they're a lizard man huge shoulders the same as an arkham or the movies or animated movies or whatever yeah no shit but then again you have to think about it this is a picture it is frontal you know you can't have him be like that tall in here without using any cgi or whatever what i think is gonna happen with those who critic that is you know how they do it with tom cruise you know magic it's, uh, camera magic they turn it down a bit and it looks like he's taller if they are gonna have him be taller that's how they're gonna do it and it's possible it's not that hard to do and they can do that again for the picture it's not really possible unless they like you know just pull him back extend the image whatever they can do that but it's no point in doing that since you're just showing the whole cast itself you can do that but I feel like they're not gonna do that because why why do you need this giant freaking lizard man you, you're trying to ground it to a more realistic tone the same as you know Superman Man of Steel if you try to make it a more realistic tone this is probably the best incarnation you can go with a guy who mutated who is angry that he got mutated who probably in this case is looking for a cure for himself or not I mean it depends on which origins they, uh, or you know which stories they want to go with him and I really like it I like the scales I like every little detail I'm surprised they did him so well and I'm wondering if he has a tail now if he doesn't have a tail I don't care if he has a tail I don't care I would pref I just I like what I'm seeing I like what I'm seeing if there's extra to it fine there's really, they really can take anything away from what I'm looking at because I'm already pleased with it. Now, what people complain about is it's not CGI. People want it to be CGI, to be more Guardians of the Galaxy type of thing. Sure, but think about it this way. Wouldn't, when, just think of it as Star Wars. Which one did you like? The prequels better, which had a lot of CGI, or did you like the original trilogy which was mainly just practical prosthetics which turned out better now I myself I like actually the prequels quite a bit now I like some of them better than the originals but that's another topic which I mean to say is sometimes CGI works for some things sometimes it doesn't work for others so for example this one feels like for Groot for a Guardians of the Galaxy Groot yeah okay fine this one, you don't need to do that, since you have different incarnations of the character, you can have it be smaller, bigger, taller, wider, whichever. So they went with a more realistic one, with the more gangster-like, more human-like type of thing. I don't want to do quotations, I don't know, I'm tired. But yeah, I like that, I like the taped hands, which means something, I don't know why. There's also been pictures of him with a hood and whatever. It looks freaking creepy as fuck, and I love it. I love that. But yeah, Killer Croc, man, that's an interesting character to have in a movie. And have it be prosthetic, you know, makeup. That's that's great. I I can't wait. 
I can't wait for that. Next one is El Diablo. Also, it has a Diablo on his uh, shirt. El Diablo. I honestly know nothing about this character. Now, I googled him a bit. I didn't read up on his old thing because I did. See, the thing is, we didn't know who, which character was going to get in the movie until now. And since it came out, I haven't really slept that much. I've slept like three hours and I've had other stuff to do. So, I'm super tired. Uh, but I, I'm going to read up on a character as well. Because I am interested in this movie. I want to know about the characters going in. I don't want to go in and be like, oh, why is he doing that? You know, I want to know. It's like, oh, yeah, he's doing that because of his thing. You know? I feel like he's a small character that doesn't have a lot with him. I think he's like he has like mystical things. I think I read at one point. But but I'm very interested in the character. Uh, he looks average, and that's people's complaints about him. It's like, oh, he looks like your uh, you know high school guy, you know, with the. Yes, he does, but not every character needs to look the same as the others. For example, you have at least three military guys on that picture. And you have Harley Quinn, who's weird, and you got, you know, everybody else who has unique things to themselves. So his unique thing is more of a casual. Now, I think maybe he will be wearing a tank top most of the movie. I don't know why, it just feels like that type of character will be wearing a tank top most of the movie, just showing off his tattoo. I feel like he's going to have a lot of tattoos on him. Uh, but yeah, this is just for the picture, I guess, not to be naked and all. <clears throat> but I feel like that's what's, what he's going to be wearing most of the time. Not that. It's, I don't know. I don't know his powers. I don't know much about him. But what I'm looking at is something that I like. He has a little side on, side on his head. And the whole skull on the face and everything. That looks, it's, it's interesting. He does have a pretty generic pose. But other than that, it's fine. Now we can talk about a little bit about the background. It says, Welcome to Bella Rev... Bella Rev... 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 Rave, 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 I don't know what the fuck, but I think people translated that as uh, something, death something, I don't know, and that's why you have this skull thing, and there's some wording down there, but you can't really tell what it is, uh, other, you know, that's just, that's, dude, that's pretty cool, that's pretty cool, that's what I like, I really like this picture, it reminds me of this one picture that I made with Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman, I think you can check it out on my Twitter. And there's a link over there, or over there, or I don't know where the fuck it goes. But yeah, there's a link to that. You can go check it out. Some of the pictures aren't there. Uh, I really like... What the fuck is that? What the fuck? Anyways, uh... Is it gonna stop? No, it's not gonna stop. No, it stopped. Uh, so anyways, yeah, I really like what I'm seeing. I liked everything. I liked the whole cast. I liked the actors who they're casting. They're actually talented people. Experienced people, some of them. Uh, again, you can notice that there's some people missing who got cast. Uh, that could be because they have minor roles. Now, by minor roles, I don't mean minor characters. I mean, they could be huge characters, such as Hugo Strange, you know, the, the Hugo Strange, Deathstroke, and uh, who else was it? I don't know, somebody else. Oh, and uh, Steve Trevor. Uh, you can actually see in pictures of... Uh, of oh, fuck, what's his face? Oh, I forgot his name. You know, the son of Clint Eastwood. I don't know, I can't remember his first name. But Eastwood Jr., uh, he actually looks pretty cool. He's pretty dope uh, in his picture. And I think he, he could be Steve Trevor, but he could have a small role, the same as, let's say, Hugo Strange, or same thing as Joker, maybe. I don't know, Joker might be uh, more occurring than those characters, but this is your official cast of the movie. Everything else is just going to be a little cameos, or maybe just short appearances that just establish those characters as existent in the universe which they can use later on for a Batman solo movie or something else and if you're gonna have Luther in this movie he's gonna be established in for the Superman movie depending on when this takes place before or after Man of Steel it doesn't matter anyways because it still could establish it there so I just wanted to say about that I could have waited to see everybody's reaction to it but I can only 
suspect what their reactions might be is everybody's gonna bitch about how they don't look like the way Batman v Superman costumes look and all that shit and that really annoys me and I really wanted to make this video to clarify and explain to people that do not watch those who I'm gonna name drop one of them DC Movie News what the fuck is that DC Movie News you have one guy who's a professional wrestling fan who knows some but isn't very you know knowledge uh, you know doesn't have a lot of knowledge on DC you have Roxy Stryer, who knows jack shit about anything, just watches TV, and she's known for all that bullshit, but she knows nothing of the comic book characters, she knows nothing. Why is she there? And you got the guy who comes in and goes all the time, I wish they'd just switch the cast, and that's not it. You got Screen Junkies, and you got frickin' uh, AMC Movie News, and even the Schmoes sometimes fucking just shut up. There's a lot of freaking people out there who just don't get it. Why are you... Again, I get it for views and everything. But at least, at least for the love of God, before you do the video, just Google their names. Google their names. Real the little thing. Real th just a little thing that's there. It's not gonna freaking kill you. Just know what you're talking about. Really freaking annoys me, man. Just... <sighs> I w this video was supposed to be a rant, but I decided to just switch it up and just make it a my own reactions type of thing. Yeah. But yeah, I really like it. I'm gonna see. Maybe, maybe I'll react to other things as well the same way. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll like them. Maybe I won't. I'll see maybe if a trailer drops. Maybe I'll do a reaction to that. See how a actual DC fan reacts to actual things that are happening and knows about them. I'm actually for a, for two years I've read a shit ton of comics and I read a lot of the Wikipedia just because I'm curious. And I know a lot of DC stuff. So if you are looking for someone who knows their shit. Actually, you want to talk to him? I'm your guy. Now, I'm not praising myself, but for fuck's sakes, when you look at the other people, they don't even know what the fuck they're talking about. The joke never had tattoos. Joker had tattoos, bitch. But anyways, I'm, I'm gonna stop it here because I'm gonna get freaking annoyed a lot more than I am already. So yeah, thanks for watching.